My name is Andrew Eucles, wildlife expert and survivalist, and my mission in life has been to bring you closer to nature in a way that has never been done before. Now let me show you what it takes to become wild. Join me on a wild journey into the unknown, meeting industry professionals and inviting you into the secret world of nature. Hold on, Chuchi. This is going to be a hell of a ride. We're all born wild, but it's a choice to be tamed. The ambience of the Australian outback is truly magical. From the cack of the kookaburras to the songbirds whistling through the trees, there is an energy which invites you to explore its wonders. But there is always a nuisance around every corner. Go <laughs> All right. Well, my name's Andrew Eucles, and I'm a wildlife and survival expert. I'm in the Australian outback. Somehow, it hasn't managed to kill me. But today, I'm going to be running a very interesting experiment. And it's a question I get a lot of the time. Can a snake bite through a pair of jeans or a pair of pants? Now, every single year in Australia, there are literally hundreds of snake bites that occur. An interesting thing to know is this, is the Australian venomous snakes actually have very small fangs. So personally, I'd like to know if it's gonna get through a pair of pants or not. Now, Australian venomous snakes are part of the Elapidae family, and the Elapids have short front fixed fangs. But we do have the most venomous snakes here in Australia. And of course, I'm going to be searching for the most dangerous snake, which is the Eastern Brown Snake or the Common Brown. And guess what, Church? It's also the second most venomous snake on Earth. But today, we're going to be seeing whether or not a snake can get through a pair of jeans. So to be completely honest, I always thought to myself that you know, if I never made it in the wildlife industry, there's going to be two industries that I was going to be in, right? One I'm not going to mention on camera, but the other one is I was always going to join the circus. <laughs> I always wanted to be a clown. <laughs> so I'm placing balloons inside of a pair of denim jeans with the hope that the balloons will pop once the fangs penetrate the denim material. But even though I seem to act like the clown most of the time, all clowns have to know their art and there is nothing funny about being bit by a highly venomous snake. Right, so ever since I was a child, quite literally like 10 years old, I had an obsession with snakes. I remember going out there as a kid and just catching as many snakes as I could and highly venomous ones as well. And I guess coming into my later years and I've traveled all over the world and there's this affinity that I have for Australian venomous snakes. You know, we do have the most venomous snakes on earth. And I guess with all the experience that I've had over the years, you can get quite good at finding them. And that's a question that people quite often ask me, they go, well, how do you find a snake? And that's subject to a number of things. It's subject to the species that you're after. It's all to do with the habitat in which you're in. And most importantly, it's all to do with what's happening around you in terms of atmospherics, the climate. You see, snakes are completely dependent on sunlight to warm themselves up and to give them the essential energy required, not just for metabolism, but in terms of giving them the energy to move around and hunt. And where my eyes are set right now is it's set on the sun. It's early morning and I'm hoping I'm going to find what I'm looking for, basking in the sun. See how we go. Snakes will often hide in some of the most difficult places. It can literally be a game of hide and seek to track them down. And quite often, you'll cross many species of animals along the way when trying to locate them. Watch him, watch him, watch him. 
Oh, settle, 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 settle. Settle down, settle down. Come around this way. This guy, this guy here, he's known. I've just got to be so careful of this. As the Eastern, as the Eastern Browns. Whoa! Whoa, settle. As the Eastern Browns today. You can just see the strike that he just took. Okay. All right, it's good that he's stuck in here because that way he can't get a full on bite. I'm just going to be careful when I pull him out. Ha ha, settle. Settle down, settle down. Now, you can be really settle. Settle. Settle, 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 settle. All right. Buddy! Now, this guy here is known as the Eastern Brown Snake. And you can just see what they can be like. They're extremely agile. They can be extremely aggressive in defending themselves. And they are the second most venomous species of snake in the world. Woo! Look at you. Now this guy here is probably the average size of what you'd find. I'm just gonna grab my stick. Just gotta be so careful. I've literally seen these snakes strike up and over people. They can be quite the mover. Look at you. All right, mate. Okay, I've just left my bag up there. All right, I'm gonna go get my bag. All it takes is a split second and a mistake can happen that can cost your life. In this line of career, coordination, speed and agility are the fundamental recipes of staying alive. Snakes have unbelievable senses when determining what objects are considered a threat and those which are not. The Jacobson organ is a sensory system which distinguishes particles in the air which allow the snake to identify its target. As you can see, he completely wants to avoid biting the pants and would rather retreat. But after some convincing, he goes in for the bite, believing it has something to do with his escape. He's got it, he's got it. Look at the venom. Look at the venom on the pants. Look at the venom on the pants. All right guys, so my hypothesis is this, is can the snake get through a pair of denim jeans? And the quick answer to that is yes, he definitely can. Although he didn't pop the actual balloon, he definitely got through the gene material. I actually heard him going through it. So although it does offer a first bit of defense against a snake bite, the reality of the situation is a pair of jeans is probably not going to stop a snake if he really wants to get you. But better to have jeans than to not, I guess. But look at you, aren't you absolutely amazing, mate? There is no greater reward than releasing an animal back into nature. Respecting that all animals have a place on Earth and that we can coexist with them is a first step to truly becoming part of something greater. G'day mate, my name's Andrew Eucles and I'm the owner and operator of Eucles Wild Tours. To find out how you can become part of Australia's wildest experience, come find me at eucleswildtours.com.